gentleman working in the ER had a vision to bring better um, quality, better quality health care, but more than that, amazing customer service. That's what we're focused on. That's what we hear from our patients all the time. This past year, we met as a leadership team, and one of the things that we decided that we wanted to add in to our values this year, in addition to that amazing customer service and quality medical care, was leading behind, leaving behind a legacy of leaders. From this day forward! From this day forward!
Look our own. Take advantage of your girl vote. We have uh, a representative of the board of directors. Drew Penny Davis is here. Also, uh, we have Brian Matthews, representative from the Texas State City Council. Uh, you know, it's kind of a. Did I miss anybody? Oh, I don't think I missed any of the elected officials, but also wanted. Uh, I want to talk to Chrissy Hickey today, and she was planning on being here, but uh, she and, and Little Rock taking care of Michigan, Arkansas interest up there. They had a session this morning. She was in the of that from 10 o'clock, but uh, she is uh, certainly uh, wanting to express her appreciation and, and support for this venture that's coming out here. But we do have our own state senator, Jerry Hickey, is here, and so at this time, Thank you, Mayor Smith. As you see, he made motion for me to come forward, so you know I don't want to prepare to say anything. I do know that Ms. Dickerson, was, Representative Dickerson, was supposed to be here. She is, was in Little Rock because she was uh, sending me emails that uh, uh, involved one of our entities here in Texas, County, Arkansas, that she's working on. So uh, definitely appreciate her for that. Just like to say thank you, Healthcare Express, for being here. I mean, this is just great for Texas, County, Arkansas. We truly mean that and, and appreciate. Mayor Smith and other members of the city and everybody else has been involved in, in bringing not only this business, but all the other businesses businesses here. Because we know that this type of business will, even though you're not really partnered, you are partnered with the uh, with Walmart, Albertsons Pharmacy, CVS, because we all know that uh, these individuals that will be coming here are going to be needing pharmaceuticals and they'll go to those and we can keep those tax dollars in Texas County, Arkansas and that's what it's all about. Thank you so much. For coming. Now I really want to bring up the man who's leading Healthcare Express. He's led us. He's been the vision, the brains, everything behind this. Some of you know him, some of you haven't. He's one of my best friends, mentors, um, and also my boss, Dr. Tim Reynolds. Wow. This is exciting, right? Woo! Woo! All right? So seriously, this is it's actually more humbling than anything else. We are very, very grateful to be here as I look out at all the people here who have helped us grow and become who we've become. You know, seven years ago, just for those of you who don't know, seven years ago I was the medical director of the ER at Wadley and we had this little idea that perhaps we could provide better medical care in a quicker fashion where people's time was more important than the doctor's time. I know that's a weird concept. Um, and, uh, and so, I mean, we started and there was seven of us. And now seven of us in one clinic has grown to 120 employees in seven communities across uh, uh, Northeast Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. We just opened a clinic in Shreveport. And so we're super, super excited, but more importantly, the whole time I've been thinking, there are no clinics in the Arkansas side of Texas, Canada. We need, other than AHEC, we need to get into Arkansas. We've been thinking that for a while. We've been looking for a while, as the mayor knows, trying to find a spot, trying to get the right place. And I think we found the right place, the right community, and we are so grateful for the reception that we're getting. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, we'll be happier if the reception involves you getting out your visas. Um, <laughs> but until then, we're super excited and we're grateful and we're humbled. We truly are a service-based organization. We're about serving the communities in which we're a part of, not because it promotes Healthcare Express, but because that's what our values are. We truly believe that the best way to increase profits and forget about profits is to go do the right thing for the people who we're serving. And that's what we're about and that's what we will be about on this side, to provide the best health care and a timely good service and provide uh, service to the communities and, and to create a legacy of leaders. So thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you for being here. And uh, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> and so the mayor mentioned to me today that they're going to repave Arkansas Boulevard starting in March. It should finish about, you know, May, June, which is about when we'll open here. And so I mentioned to him, so because Healthcare Express is coming, they're also paving Arkansas Boulevard. <laughs> I mean, they weren't doing it before we were coming. I'm just saying that's a coincidence. I don't know. So, all right, let's make some dirt moves. So we're ready to go. Everybody come on up. Who's going to come up? Perfect. <laughs> Oh, 
There's somebody directing them on what to turn. Okay, guys, we're going to take a couple pictures first, and then we'll count to three, and you can turn dirt. All right, we're ready. Okay. Not pretty. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Dig. Let's go. Turn the dirt. Up. 